Today we're at Christie's New York and we're going to take a walk around the Latin American art preview uh, for tomorrow's um, auction. Uh, we're going to pick out three works which I personally like the best and, uh, and we're going to talk about it. So the first one is the main painting for the exhibition and for the auction, which is a Fernando Botero. Botero is Colombia's most important living artist, and uh, I, through Beatrice Esquerra Art in my gallery, have had the honor of being able to promote some of his works. So um, I'm very happy to have encountered so many works from him, so one, such wonderful quality for this auction. And usually he's, he's one of the main highlights of the Latin American auctions, not only in Christie's, but also in Sotheby's. So Botero is known for his volume. It's not about fat people, it's about volume. And it's also about caricature and humor and how he sees the world in that uh, humorous style. Um, there's also, of course, a, a, a lot of knowledge in, um, in technique, in color, in composition, and, uh, so, and that is why he is one of the most uh, famous and well-known living artists in the world because he has a very unique and distinct style. So this is the main work of the auction. Hopefully it will be sold very well and go to a prominent collection. The second um, artwork I've chosen is a Jesus Rafael Soto. He's from Venezuela and he is part of the op art movement, kinetic um, art, where uh, his compositions are uh, mostly geometric the work that we all know, and it's about uh, creating visual effects. Uh, the compositions are infinite, there is no above and below, um, and uh, it's also about movement and uh, how you perceive planes, lines, and volumes. My third uh, pick up today is uh, Tomas Sanchez, who is a cute artist, and he paints ideal landscapes. Uh, they're ideal in the sense that they're pure, they're silent, uh, very much what you feel when you're meditating. Uh, there's always a meditator, and most, most of the time, in his artworks. He, he is from Cuba, he does not live in Cuba, and a lot of the landscapes that he paints are not only Cuban, but from other places in Latin America. 